Welcome to Awesome Open Source Projects. This is the first episode and in this playlist I aim to cover all of the great open source projects that I come across. I mostly work with open source repositories and so I discover a lot of them. And I just wanted to share some of the some of them that really deserve this recognition. This is Yolo V5 with Deep Sort in PyTorch. So Deep Sort is a technique that can actually help you track the trajectories of the detected objects. So instead of just labeling and detecting an object, you also assign it an ID and it tracks that ID as you can see in these pictures. Getting started with this is really simple. And I have also made a video series on the YOLO algorithm and another one on YOLO v5. So that's linked below. You can watch that if you want, but it's not required. Getting started is super simple. You just clone this and you can just start tracking your, your videos. Let me just show you a quick example of what this can be. So I'll just clone it and I'll just run Python track.py and pass in a source, which is test.avi, which is the same, the same video here. And I'll just run this with a show with flag and it will just track these people in real time. And like all the objects, as you can see, they are assigned an ID, which is consistent throughout the video. Now, deep sort is not uh, something that you should use in production where multiple scenes are involved because when the scene changes, this these IDs are reassigned. So this is not that accurate. And there's a lot of research going on in this direction to make sure it, you can also track them across scenes, but it's not there yet. But it's pretty good application for one scene. If you have just one setting, one angle. Let me show you another example where the scene changes continuously. So the IDs are reassigned. And here you'll see as the camera changes, the scene changes, the IDs are reassigned. But in the same scene, it's pretty much consistent. So if you'll see both of them in the same scene, they will have a consistent ID. For example, here, right? Seven, eight are, are pretty consistent. So this is a still, this still remains a problem with all deep sort algorithms, but this one comes to this one comes really close to being uh, the state of the art in this case. Thanks for watching. See you next time with another awesome open source project.